Why was the tree stumped? You couldn't get to the root of the problem. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to build an automatic wood farm that you can set and forget until you need it. First off, here are the materials you need. Go ahead and pause the video and take note. So to start off, go ahead and place your auto crafter down. We're going to put a barrel in front of it because anything that the crafter outputs is gonna go into this. And then we can take a hopper going into the back. Next, we're gonna take a mud block and place that on top of the hopper. And then we're going to take our glass and we're going to stack this all the way up to the top. Just like this, the glass will be five blocks high. Then we're going to place a temporary block here with a block right above it, taking out the temporary block. Go inside your machine, we're going to place a piston facing in like so, and then place an observer so that way the face is facing this way. Then we can take our building block and place it just like this, so that way nothing escapes. Go on down and place a block right behind the piston. Then we're just going to snake our blocks up just like so until they connect up. Then we're going to run a repeater into the crafter, take our redstone dust, and we're going going to file it all the way up here to this block behind the observer that's right behind the piston and then lastly we can take our bamboo and throw that in and that's it our automatic wood farm is done so then as the bamboo grows the observer sets off the piston knocking it down into the hopper and then the output of the piston then triggers the redstone to then activate the crafter and we get blocks of bamboo now you could easily set this up to do different bamboo blocks or even with trees but if you go into the crafter and you toggle all of these here, if we take these bamboo pieces and put them right there, it's going to output sticks. So you could change this and have it set up in different ways to get any sort of configuration of wood that you would want. You can do something very similar with actual trees as well. I have here a simple manual spruce farm, but you could also hook it up with a TNT duper. And then as the logs fall down, they can get funneled into crafters. And then if I flip this switch, it activates an observer clock, turning everything into chess. But again, you can have this output into any sort of wood block that you need, and it's easily taken care of. The only issue with doing something like this is you would have to have it go to an auto sorting system to where it would sort out the sticks and the saplings and anything else that you don't want. But those of you who are more redstone savvy than I am, you probably could figure this out a lot easier. But if you want to see how the crafter could be used to make a store on a server, go ahead and click this video in the top right corner. And that's all the time I have for you today, guys. Go ahead and click that like button and that subscribe button if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Always remember the most important thing is to be odd and wash your hands. Peace, guys.